there, superstars. So today I'm here to show you another multiplication strategy for helping you solve multiplication number sentences. And today I want to show you something called an array. So let's look at what an array is first. A set of objects arranged in rows and columns is an array. So this is an example right here, which is a picture of an array. Here's our rows, one, two, three, we have three rows, and four columns, one, two, three, four. The columns are going down. So an array is when objects are arranged in rows and columns, and they line up very nicely on top of each other and side by side. This makes a very organized picture, and it helps us visualize our multiplication number sentence. So this number sentence that we are seeing a picture of right here is three times four equals 12. Three rows with four in each row will give me a grand total of 12 or a product of 12. So an array can help us when we are trying to problem solve and look for a product. So let's look at this question. Many people grow tomatoes in their gardens. Lee plants three rows of tomato plants with six plants in each row. How many tomato plants are there? Hmm, so let's see. I'm going to make an array of this particular problem by using these tiles over here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how many rows I have, which in the problem it says I have three. So I'm gonna take three red squares or three red tiles and put them one on top of the other. This is going to be row one, this is gonna be row two, this is going to be row three. Here we see in our number sentence down here that our first factor is the number of rows. The second part of the problem says that there are six plants in each row. So here my number six is the number in each row. So that means that I have to put six tiles in each row. Five and six and I'm going to put the same number in row two. Four. It's a little tricky to getting these lined up nicely. Easier when we're actually using objects and making an array, but we can do it on the computer as well. There's my second in that row, my third, fourth, fifth, and six. So now I have made an array of the garden with the tomato plants and I have made a three by six array, three rows with six in each row. So now my goal is to find the product. How can I do this? Well, that's easy. I can either count up the tiles individually one at a time until I get to the total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Great, so now I know my total is 18. Or I could even take a shorter cut and I could skip count by six because I know there's six in each row, six, 12, 18. Or I could add the rows together, six plus six is 12, plus another six makes 18. So any way I want to attack the array, it's easy to find the total once I've made the array and I have a visual picture of what my number sentence actually looks like. Okay, let's try another one. So here I have eight tiles and it says, make as many different arrays as you can using all eight tiles. Fill in the blanks, the first one is done for you. So this array is a one by eight array. It has one row with eight in each eight in the row, which gives me a total of eight or a product of eight. But let's see if there's different ways that I could make these tiles. Let's try another one. How about if I do eight rows of, hmm, let's see, what would that come out to be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Let's see, I have eight rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, if I only have a total of eight tiles, I guess that's going to give me 
eight rows of one, one in each row. So eight rows of one is going to match the number sentence. Eight times one equals eight. So now I know that that's another way for me to create an array using the eight tiles. One row of eight or eight rows of one. Let's try one more. Let's see. I'm still working with the number eight. And I know that four is half of eight. So I'm thinking maybe I could do four rows. And if I do four rows, that's going to give me four. And I have to figure out, let's see, how many would be in each row if I wanted a total of eight? Oh, okay. Well, if that's half of eight, I know I need four more. Oops. So I come over here and I'm going to give one more to each row, which is going to give me how many in each row? You've got it. Two. It's going to be four rows of two. So if I have four rows of two, I'm going to total them up. Two plus two plus two plus two. Well, two plus two is four, plus two more is six, plus two more is eight. Two, four, six, eight. Excellent. So four rows of two is going to equal eight. So I've got my product. Of course, don't forget that if you have a really challenging product uh, problem, you can count up the squares in, or the tiles individually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, I'm thinking about this. I'm also realizing that I could use commutative property, which means I can flip-flop the factors. So if I wanted to instead make two rows and put four in each row, I could do that also. So now I would have to change these numbers around, make two rows of four, and I would change these numbers around, two rows of four, but my total, I know because community property tells me so, that I can change the order of my factors, but my product will still be the same. So do I still have 8? 4 plus another 4 is equal to 8. Terrific! So now I have seen that I have four different ways of arranging these tiles, making four different arrays. A 1 by 8, an 8 by 1, a 4 by 2, and a 2 by 4. Those are all different arrays that give me the same product of 8. So my answer here is that I can make four different arrays using eight tiles. So today we learned that an array is, an, is a picture of objects arranged in equal rows and columns and that we array, make an array to match a number sentence so that we can easily figure out the product. You can figure out the product three ways. You can individually count up all the tiles, counting by ones, you can add up the rows together, so 4 plus 4 would give me 8, or you could skip count by whatever number is in your row, 4, 8. So boys and girls, this is an array. It's another strategy for you to put on your tool belt to help you solve multiplication number sentences in a quick and easy and organized way. Okay, now you're going to try one all by yourself. So let's use this picture. You get your whiteboard ready, and let's give it a try.